The Nigerian Living Standards Survey, NLSS, is the official survey that is the basis for measuring poverty and living standards. Between September of 2018 and October of 2019, the National Bureau of Statistics conducted the latest round of the NLSS after a decade. It is representative of the state level with a sample size of 22,110 households, focusing on increasing household and individual demographics, age, gender, marital status, amongst others, access to education, health and basic services, employment, assets and income. I am now joined by Wilson Erumebo of the Nigerian Economic Summit Group. Hello, Wilson. Good day. Thank you for having me, Irene. Certainly. Thanks for joining us on the news. Now, the report on poverty and inequality by the MBS shows that 82.9 million Nigerians are estimated to be poor. What do, what do you make out of this data? Well, first of all, I think um, there, there's some um, positive sense in the fact that uh, we're able to conduct a poverty survey um, within Nigeria after over, um, would I say, okay. seven to eight years. Um, so locally, um, by our local standards, we've been able to develop a poverty line. Um, and of course, which is also very good, the fact that we can ha we have numbers to show the absolute number of, pe the number of people in poverty and how it can enable us to plan, you know, whether in terms of policy and implementation of government programs. So that's on one positive side. Then going to the data itself. So uh, we have a situation where 83 million Nigerians um, live below the national um, poverty line that was estimated in the survey. And I think this number is really quite huge um, given, you know, the size of the country. And even worse still is if you then break this down into, um, so we have a, a, a poverty line, which means um, 137,000 um, naira per annum, which means that if you spend below this certain amount as an individual, then you fall below the poverty line. So if you convert this into a daily rate, so you have about um, 381 naira per day. Um, converting it to dollars, we're looking at zero point, maybe about one dollar, you know, for each each um, individual, which is even quite low because because the national and global global estimates for poverty is a bit um, higher above a dollar. Sometimes you have 1.25, 1.95, and all that. So if we were to even use that global standards of measurement, it means that we are likely going to have over. 83 million people living below the poverty line. And, and this is a clear example of the fact that, I mean, the economy is growing slowly, we recorded a growth rate of about 2.3%, which is quite low for a country like Nigeria, and especially um, given where we're coming from. We all experienced the, how the 2016 recession was and how you know, such type of recession with what it accompanies, with things like inflation, um, forex exchange rates and all that. We see how that affects individuals and households and basically drags people below the poverty line. And right now, Nigeria is in a you know, tough situation, which means in, in 2020, a lot more people will still be added um, to these poverty numbers. So it's, it's not really a good, a good, good one for, for a country like Nigeria. Now, you presented the best case, worst case, and even case scenarios for the Nigerian economy during the Nigerian Economic Summit uh, about six months ago. Now, it's about, a, about six months here. Have you seen any progress in terms of the recommendations made during that period? Um, yes. So what, what we look, looked at at the summit is Nigeria in 2050, and we said um, we can't just keep moving as if um, things are all right. We need to start looking for a better Nigeria, and we tried to do... Three, 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 um, three scenarios for Nigeria. Um, interestingly, or, or sadly, um, what, what we projected is that um, in the worst case scenario is that by 2021, um, Nigeria is going to fall into a recession and would remain there you know, for quite a long time. Um, so we, we didn't even, of course, coronavirus then was not even, even out. You know? um, so adding this coronavirus effect and, and the fact that oil prices are also down at you know very low, um, sometimes around twenty dollar below twenty dollar per barrel in April tells you a, a lot that things are going to be quite tough for the economy um, going forward. Um, in terms of whether our government is implementing some of these um, recommendations, I am aware that there are several team coming coming together to look at a vision for Nigeria. Now that also the ELGP is now has you know elapsed. In, will elapse in 2020. Um, so there, there are efforts to start a new plan 
planning phase for the country and also capturing the long-term efforts. But I think in terms of government policies, um, seeing how we can, you know, stimulate businesses and ensure that business employ people, uh, I think we've, we've really not made so much significant progress in that area. So, for instance, if you look at the, the poverty numbers, taking you back to the poverty numbers, you would see so much disparity between the northern region of, the Nigeria, of Nigeria and the south. You would see um, the fact that, that farmers are even the most poor people in, in the country. You would see that education, and those that are less educated, are even more poorer. They have more higher poverty rates. So I think these are critical issues that, um, as a country, we need to start looking, looking at going forward. Thank you very much, Wilson Erumebo of the Nigerian Economic Summit Group. Thanks for joining us on the news. All right, you're welcome.